Good morning. It is currently 7.39 a.m. on Saturday, March 21st, 2015. I'm Christiana Ellis and I just got up. This is five more minutes. So what should I talk about? Okay, um, yesterday in the evening, I played uh, some more of Destiny on the PS4, which I had not played in a while. But the reason I did is because um, some of my friends, uh, uh, specifically uh, Nobilis Reed, uh, T. Morris, and uh, new friend Nick Kelly, who I did not know before, but now I do, uh, we played uh, a couple of strike missions, which are special missions designed to be done with more than one person. Destiny is a game that it's kind of interesting. Uh, I'm certainly not the only person to feel this way about it, but the problem is that they've got some really good shooting mechanics and some really nice surface level worlds in the sense that things look really cool. But the story is just so... Like, yeah, it just, it, it, there's no depth to it, and it's kind of frustrating. And so that's a big chunk of why I think when I was playing it single player and just going through the various missions on my own, I kind of lost interest just in the sense that, I, you know, I, I, it wasn't, engaging me as much as I would have liked and there's other games that I could play that would be more interesting on that level. But where Destiny is an awful lot of fun is when you team up with a couple of more people and you do missions cooperatively. Because you have to work together, you know, different, uh, you know, party members have different powers. Uh, so you can, like, my, uh, I switch to a Defender subclass on my Titan Guardian, um, and uh, what that allowed me to do is uh, occasionally put up like a bubble of a shield that people could kind of hide in um, and uh, be pre temporarily protected, and uh, so I was able to work with that, um, and then some of the other, you know, players have you know, different powers, and um, just in terms of picking the missions we wanted to do, the missions are still, you know, like every single mission you do equates to, hey, go to this place, fight some enemies along the way, and then there will be a big enemy at the end that you're going to have to fight while you hold square to have your little ghost voice by Peter Dinklage scan something, and then uh, fight enemies while he does that, and uh, then fight some more enemies. I mean, that's every single mission in this game, and yet, what's fun about it is when you're playing multiplayer, you're discussing tactics or just chatting with your friends during all that stuff, which doesn't matter, and then you're really left with just teamwork plus awesome shooting mechanics, and so that's not a bad combination at all. I still think that the game is not something I'm going to play a lot more of on my own, but... It was a reminder last night that playing games like that with other people can be an awful lot of fun. So I enjoyed that. Uh, I also can recommend a game called Ali Ali 2 on the PlayStation Vita, which is actually free this month if you have PlayStation Plus. And I'll, so Ali Ali 2 is a sequel to a game about skateboarding. It's a 2D side-scroller skateboarding combo tricks game. And I will tell you right now that I had no interest. That just did not sound especially fun to me. I was not into that. Um, but on uh, Steve Lubitz on the Isometric podcast had mentioned that he thought it was definitely, like, definitely don't miss it, especially since it's free. And I'm like, really? Well, okay, well, I'll try it. And even, even at first, I was not sold. But then I found that it was definitely one of those games of, uh, one more try, one more try, one more try, one more try. 
and uh, and suddenly I'm finding that I'm kind of digging it because it's definitely it's very tricky, but you it you feel like you actually learn how to do cool things in it as you know as you work in that direction. So it's actually pretty fun if you have a PlayStation Vita or I don't know if it's actually available on any other platform, but uh, I recommend it. And so that's it for today. Remember, you can find all my stuff at ChristianaEllis.com, and I'll talk to you tomorrow for five more minutes.